Drive World has just updated, so let's check it out. Looking at the new car in the shop, we have the Bomber. At stock, it has a horsepower of 790 and a score of 890, with a price of $2.5 million. Now let's upgrade it and check out the customizations. When it's maxed, it has a score of 1,513 and a horsepower of 1,423. And it has a max speed of around 320 to 325. This car definitely seems like it's going to be viable in the 1,500 restriction races. Now moving on to the weekly challenges, the new car we have is a Hellion. And this week also brings back the Rat Rod. And they have lowered the amount of trailer and food deliveries you need. And on top of this, whenever the weekly cars are in here, Instead of grinding for them, you can actually pay Robux for them. Now onto the map changes. They have changed the color of grass all around the map now, so it's darker. And as you can probably tell, there is a whole new desert area. So now this is removing a lot of the ocean that we have over here. And along with the new desert area, we have three new races. This first race being the Phoenix Rally. Second being Canyon Run. And the last one being Half Pipe Butte. And with the desert being added, the lighthouse trail doesn't have a lighthouse at the end of it anymore, as you can see over here. So they actually changed the name to Monument Trail. 
I think the desert edition is good for the game because it gives a different feeling than the city. And because it has cactuses, it makes it feel different and it allows for a lot of smash score. Which, compared to the city, the only things that you're actually able to smash are basically just the light posts. And now onto some of the smaller additions. They have a search bar at the top now. The tiger now has body kits. And now because they introduced multiple of the same weekly car, they allowed you to sell them. And with the popularity of the Tesla semi-truck because of the F-Spam glitch, they have actually patched this. But there is still a workaround for this. If you shift into manual mode and spam F and R, it still works the exact same. And now let's finish the weekly challenges. And there we go, we have finished all of the weekly challenges, so let's collect them. And I'm getting another rat rod, which I definitely won't be using. And the Hellion. And here it is, at a score of 891 and a horsepower of 996 at stock. This car at stock has a really good acceleration and a pretty good top speed as well. So now let's upgrade it and check out the customizations. These spoilers don't really make sense, but I guess it wouldn't work on the back of the truck either. And here it is max with a score of 1711 and a horsepower of 1831. And now let's see how fast it is. This car is really fast and has a really good acceleration. I'll definitely be trying this on around the world so we can see what time it gets. But first, let's try this on drag strip.
Yeah, this is one of the best drag strip cars. And now let's try around the world. This is definitely one of the best cards in the game. I'd recommend grinding for it. And looking at it, I think that this might be the best car for all of the new races. And it will probably win in every other race. I wouldn't recommend downgrading this, but I think it would be really good in the 1,500 restriction races. So if you end up getting two of these, uh, you should probably put one in the 1,500 range. With that being said, I think that's going to be the end of this video. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this update, and I'll see you in the next video.